Yo, everyone, how's it going? Hey yo. Hey yo. Hey, hey. hey yo. <laughs> Welcome to a new series called mm -hmm. Minecraft Warfare with uh, Bahuki and Sean Raff. Yo. <laughs> I just did an F5 shot there and had to cycle around again because I pressed it once too many times. Okay, so we're going to uh. start off this series. This is a series with us doing challenges versus one another earn points and ultimately and at the end of the series see who wins me uh, no 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 it's it it's it will be me uh basically yeah so we're gonna have a, a number of different challenges set up for us the first one is this one which is called it's called the companion challenge but we've got slightly different rules <laughs> yeah it, it's we nicked the title but changed everything else about it yeah okay so let's just quickly go over the rules uh it's instead of been done in 30 minutes it's the first to finish um, which we'll get to in a minute um, we're playing on easy instead of hard because we have to accommodate for server lag and uh, all that sort of thing so we've just bumped it down to easy just to make it less frustrating for you and us yeah. we are allowed to use F3 to find our way back here to the monuments which we'll give you a little tour of in just a tick and the monument area is our spawn forever so no sleeping if we die we come back here Yep, and start all over again. Indeed. Uh, we're no, there's no killing allowed, so we can't kill each other to slow each other's progress and stuff, because that's just unsportsmanlike. And the four animals, creatures, entities, whatever you want to call them that we have to get. Companions, that's the word I'm looking for. The four companions we have to get are the Iron Golem, the Snowman, the Wolf, and the Ocelot. So yes, we have to capture all those uh, and store them in our well-designed monument area over here. And we have is... one each. Yep, yeah, they are exactly the same, uh, just different coloured carpet in the bedrooms. We have materials to finish the cages oh. in the chest in the middle. So we'll put uh, each animal creature in the cage and capture it. Uh, in the cage. In the cage. And we also have back here in our rooms, we have music, which I'm going to put cat on right now. Oh, I won't one. put anything on if you've got... We have a uh, map play. and a compass, which I'll pick up when we actually start. And yeah, that's, that's it really. We don't have to gather them all in one, uh, like the original Companions Challenge. Uh, we can gather them in any order we want, as long as they're stored in the cages at the end. Yes, so, so the original challenge is meant to be done within 30 minutes, but because we've actually got to travel back to the monument, we're just going to go whoever completes it first. Yeah. And because we've got to get back here, we have given us a compass and a map and allowing F3. Yeah. Which I think is perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I think, I think it is as well. <laughs> yeah. So it's a great setting actually for the monument. I, I've not actually noticed it before. <laughs> it's like it looks out, out over. Oh, did a Canadian? It looks out over the uh, mm. the sea. <laughs> uh, right. So I'm going to get into the bedroom, and uh, oh, uh. I'll need to actually hang up the Skype call or mute it or something because we're not allowed to talk to each other during this. Um, Do you want to hang up or mute? If you uh, mute, it means you can unmute and ask something, but. Um, if you hang up, it means yes. Yes. CPU won't be. Uh, I am. Um, uh, okay. Well, we'll sort that out, and then when we come back, we'll have started. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, people. Uh, we have just started. I'm going to put the cat song back on because it's my favourite one, uh, and I'll explain my strategy when we're away from Bahuki. So I've got the compass pointing back here. Hopefully, it should point back to my spawn. It's pointing the wrong way. Great job. Great game. Um, so I'm not going to take. So let's find out where we are on this map. This map seems to be broken. Great. So uh, I'm just going to go straight off into the jungle and get some tools. First point of call is to get tools. Um, I'm going to explain my strategy as we go. I just want to get away from Bahuki because I don't want her to see what we're doing. If that kind of makes sense. So I want to get far enough away that she can't see exactly what we're doing. She's going to get a bit of a head start on us because she's already punching wood and uh, getting tools for herself. 
but I think we'll have the advantage later on. So yeah, as I say, the first thing I want to get done is, is to get tools made so we can start digging and getting coal ready to cook the iron for the iron golem and getting a shovel so we can dig up snow for the snowman. The iron golem and the snowman are the first two I want to go for because I think they're going to be the easiest to get. Uh, <laughs> in my experience, the cats are absolute <laughs> to capture. So, um, yes, we're going to go for the iron golem, the snowman and the dog first. Or the wolf, whichever you want to call it. Oh, I'm stuck, damn it, this is not good. This is, this is not good. Yes, so we're, go we're going to go for those guys first. And and we'll leave we'll save the cat for last, uh, and particularly because we're in the jungle biome next to the monument, the cat's going to be uh, quite tricky to get back sometimes because I know they're uh, they're quite temperamental. So yes, uh, also I hate cats. I'm allergic to them. I'm not a massive fan. Sorry, cat lovers, just don't like them. So yes, uh, after we've got our tools, I've done a bit of research on Benoist to Bahuki. I've not shared this with her. Uh, wolves and pumpkins spawn in forests typically both of them share this trait they both spawn in forests wolves also spawn in tiger and plains so uh that's that's something to bear in mind that i can't if i'm if i'm not in those areas i'm not going to find any pumpkins or wolves uh, ideally i'd want to find both in the same area because that's that's two in one go isn't it so we'll carry on and oh large massive chunk area there that's not the way we want to go into a swamp area either so Let's uh, let's make a crafting bench first, and then we'll make a an axe. And then we can start getting some more wood. Oh, what am I doing? I'm new to this game. I'm not really. I'm just terrible. Okay, let's make two wooden axes. I think that'll be enough because they don't tend to last very long. And we'll also make just a wooden shovel because you don't need that much snow so let's take this crafting bench with us because we want furnaces oh the sound lag in this update is terrible my word so let's get quite a bit of wood because we need to cook up the iron and we'll need wood to make tools and torches when we go caving for iron so that's something to bear in mind as well I've not, I've not got a great strategy. I know I'm just kind of like winging it, really. <laughs> Hopefully, Bahuki's not got a strategy herself, or one that's any good anyway. Hopefully, she'll just kind of do what she thinks is best. And hopefully, me having a strategy isn't detrimental to my own goals as well. I don't want to get too caught up on strategy and then just forget what I'm doing altogether. I've spent about three and a half minutes just collecting wood there so really I think it's time we went looking for the right biomes uh, I know Bahuki's probably gone the other way neither of us have explored this area we're um uh, kind of could do with some food as well Cause that's something not to forget we're, we are playing on easy that means we can die and we can die of starvation and all that kind of thing as well so need to be really careful uh, which is not great. I wonder why this compass doesn't work. Strange. And this map is just useless. Where am I on the map? Useless. It's probably because we got him out of creative mode. Uh, to give us like starting tools and such. So I'm going to try and make it to a different biome. I'll probably speed up this footage so I'll, I'll see you uh, when I make it there or if I come across something useful. Okay, so I've made it to this biome, which I think is Plains. Uh, it is. Uh, for those of you that don't know, if you look at the left there, where all the details of F3 are, it says Plains next to the letter B, uh, second line from the bottom. So hopefully we'll be able to find pumpkins here. Uh, and if not, we may be able to find wolves. Of course, we do need bones before we can tame the wolves, so I'm going to have to start caving as well uh, to get some skeletons going. And see if we can't. Let's uh, let's make a sword actually, because if we do come across any mobs that have just happened to 
stay out at night then that will really help and I also kind of want a pick in case we see any above ground coal what am I doing that is not how you make sticks uh, or wood blocks even what am I doing I'm panicking I've never done this kind of thing before I'm not used to this pressure it's I need to organize my hot bar what am I doing I'm sorry forgive me for being terrible at this game oh, I want my crafting bench back as well I think uh, I'm just not thinking because I am panicking and I also really 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 need the toilet so uh, I'm probably gonna go do that and and then I'll be back and we can go hunting for wolves and pumpkins and skelly bobs and take their bones and tame wolves and then win and beat Bahuki and then she'll cry and we'll laugh and stand over her body laughing okay that looks like a good place to go uh, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna get myself somewhere safe I think I'm just gonna stand in a little hole hopefully oh bit of block lag bit of block lag that's not gonna help but can't do anything about that really so I'm gonna stand under here and then I'll be back when I've released my bladder and I'm back and I, I'm I'm dying uh, I need to eat something I didn't realize I was doing that actually oops uh, okay so I really need to start digging and looking for cobble now because it's gonna be <gasps> creepers not what we want just yet no nope. no thanks I can't run oh I really need to dig in a cobble I need coal Oh, I've not thought this through at all. Oh, there's coal. Well, it does look quite dark down there is my only worry. Let's gather some dirt. We can block that off. Oh, no, damn. Where's that? What time is it? What time is it? Oh, it's getting dark. It is getting dark. This... Oh, this is above ground coal. This is exactly what we need. There's no cave. It was just a lighting glitch. Perfect. Coal. Give me the coal. Give me the coal. Oh, and the experience. We get that as well. Not that we need it. We're not doing any enchanting, but it will... If we get... A fortune pick or anything like that, then that might help us somehow. No, it won't. Fortune's not going to be any good. Oh no, cave. Okay, let's make. Let's get some torches on the go. And I don't, that map is useless to us. Hopefully, this doesn't drop down as well. Oh no, because this is this will be that. This will be the same tunnel that that uh, creeper's in. So I'm going to put this there and I'm just going to walk around gather more coal and then I'm gonna head back up and search for more pumpkins Okay, so uh, I've decided it's gone a bit dark to be venturing out really without any kind of armour or protection or any kind of plan as to where we're going so uh, I'm just going to make this little place our temporary home for the moment. It's light enough that nothing should spawn, I don't think anything can get in. Oh, something could get in there. Let's block that up uh, and then I really need to make, uh, uh, what do you call them, a furnace uh, to cook up this chicken and eat because I am starving and I can hear zombies. Let's put a bit of coal in there. Let's cook the chicken first. Ah, oh, those zombies will be beneath us. I don't think they'll be above. Um, and if they are, then we're really, really kind of screwed. Uh, right. So I think down here is the cave that we found. Hopefully, there's no. Yeah. So that's that's the cave that we found. We might venture down there just to see if we can find some iron straight away. Uh, if not, I, I don't want to venture too far and I don't want to spend too long trying to get any iron, really, because it, it's not worth it. Uh, particularly because I don't oh, I don't know where Bahuki is, I don't know what progress she's made. She could be doing really well, she could be doing terribly for all I know. Let's cook up this pork chop as well before we set off. Uh, and I, while I do that, I'm going to make a wooden uh, stone pickaxe because we'll need that at least to pick the iron oh no ooh, that was close I nearly wasted some wood there you probably shouted at the screen don't do it uh, or maybe not maybe not okay right so 
We've got a stone pickaxe. Should I make a stone sword? It's a stone sword. Oh, calm down. Calm down, Sean. Right, there we go. We've got a quick port chop. We're going to make just a few more torches as well because we don't want anything spawning on us and catching us by surprise. So those are going to be our reserve tools. Ideally, we'll find something before we have to use them. I'm just going to light this up just a little bit more because I think something could possibly spawn. So here we go. Right, let's make a, st a step down here. Light up this area. Like I say, hopefully we won't find anything. Won't find any mobs. And if we do, then right. Oh, is that Bahuki I heard, or is that me breaking blocks and there's block lag? It does sound like someone's moving up there. Okay, this is a trick alert from Minecraft UHC. You block that off, nothing can get through there. Great trick, very useful if you're caving and you want to block off the area behind you. Just stop anything from sneaking up on you. <gasps> Iron! Yes, this is exactly what we want. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, now, this, this challenge was done in half an hour. I've spent 13 minutes so far and I've only just come across the iron. Iron golems need four iron blocks, so we're just going to take as much as we need. And maybe two bits extra in case we lose anything. So hopefully hopefully we won't lose anything, but uh, I'm, I'm the cautious type of person. And I want to just take as much as I can, really. So this is all lit up. I'm going to leave that wood there. Nothing should get us from there. Nothing can get us from there either. Perfect. Let's get back up. Get this iron cooking into blocks. I'm just going to cook as much as you need. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it is four blocks. And I might leave that there. I don't know what time it is. I should have made a clock, really. Or just... Knock. Can I knock this out? See? Nope. It's still dark. We're not, we're not going out while it's dark. It's just... It's too, it's too dangerous at the moment. I suppose I could use this iron to make an iron sword, and then we can kill things quicker. Uh, it's two for an iron sword. I need really more than that to make iron boots and that kind of thing, so... I can hear him walking around up there. Is it just a pig? I think it might be. Oh no, you need loads of iron! No, what am I thinking? You need loads more than that! <laughs>